thousands of opponents of Egypt's Islamist president clashed with his supporters in cities across the country Friday, burning several offices of the Muslim Brotherhood, in the most violent and widespread protests since Mohammed Morsi came to power, sparked by his move to grant himself sweeping powers. The violence reflected the increasingly dangerous polarization in Egypt over what course it will take nearly two years after the fall of autocrat Hosni Mubarak. Critics of Morsi accused him of seizing dictatorial powers with his decrees a day earlier that make him immune to judicial oversight and give him authority to take any steps against threats to the revolution. On Friday, the president spoke before a crowd of his supporters massed in front of his palace and said his edits were necessary to stop a minority that was trying to block the goals of the revolution. There are weevils eating away at the nation of Egypt, he said pointing to old regime loyalists he accused of using money to fuel instability and to members of the judiciary who work under the umbrella of the courts to harm the country. Clashes between his opponents and members of Morsi's Muslim Brotherhood erupted in several cities. In the Mediterranean city of Alexandria, anti-Morsi crowds attacked Brotherhood backers coming out of the mosque, raining stones and firecrackers on them. The brothers held up prayer rugs to protect themselves and the two sides pelted each other with stones and chunks of marble, leaving at least 15 injured. The protesters then stormed a nearby Brotherhood office. In the capital Cairo, security forces pumped volleys of tear gas at thousands of pro-democracy protesters clashing with riot police on streets several blocks from Tahrir Square. Tens of thousands of activists massed in Tahrir itself, angered at the decisions by Morsi. Many of them represent Egypt's upper class, liberal elite, which have largely stayed out of protests in past months but were prominent in the streets during the anti mubarak uprising that began January 25, 2011. Protesters chanted, Leave, leave and Morsi is Mubarak. Revolution everywhere. We are in a state of revolution. He is crazy if he thinks he can go back to one man rule, one protester at Tahrir, Sarah Cowell, said of Morsi. This decision shows how insecure and weak he is because he knows there is no consensus. If the Brotherhood's slogan is Islam is the solution ours is submission is not the solution, said Cowell, a mass communications professor at the American University in Cairo. And this is Islamic because God does not call for submission to another man's will. Frustration had been growing for months with Morsi, Egypt's first freely elected president who came to office in June. Critics say the Muslim Brotherhood, from which he hails, has been moving to monopolize power and that he has done little to tackle mounting economic problems and continuing insecurity, much less carry out deeper reforms. Morsi's supporters, in turn, say he has faced constant pushback from Mubarak loyalists and from the courts, where loyalists have a strong presence. The courts have been considering a string of lawsuits demanding the dissolution of the Islamist-dominated assembly writing the next constitution. The courts already dissolved the previous version of the Assembly and the Brotherhood-led lower house of Parliament. Read more here. HTTP colon slash slash www.miamiherald.com slash 2012 slash 11 slash 23 slash 3110271 slash clashes in Egypt as Morsi defends.html number sign story link equals CPE.